Hey guys, it's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching and I hope you're enjoying this little boot camp course. Hope it's giving you some ideas and some inspiration. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you that, about something that really uh, changed my life in a lot of ways. Um, it's for, I think, really tennis pros and maybe personal trainers, but also even health club owners because if you take on this strategy as a partnership uh, and kind of really realize what a lot of uh, personal trainers and tennis pros go through, really understand the mentality of, of what we think on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, this could help everyone become more productive and more profitable. So today's topic is on being able to cut your, your actual hours in half as far as being on the court or maybe if you're a personal trainer, cutting those hours in half as far as being with a client but still being able to make just as much money or even more. And you're probably wondering, well, how can I do that? How can I make you know, just as much but teach less? So here's the way I did it and this is the way you want to do it, okay? First of all, you just got to make up your mind that I'm done with that split, split shift where, where you're basically teaching, you know, you got clients in the morning, in the afternoon, so you're basically there from morning till night and that's where I think most people uh, really get burned out plus physically they're just beat up and I know that I was there when I was 33 because in the beginning when you're trying to get stuff going you know you're gonna say yes to everybody it's hard you're in a people pleasing business so it's hard to say no you know somebody says can I have a lesson at 7 in the morning oh sure I could do that can I have a lesson at 2 in the afternoon oh no problem can I have a lesson at 8 at night yeah, and then all of a sudden you realize, man, I'm just teaching nonstop. I got so many hours on the court and my body feels beat up and I never get any time to myself. So what I decided to do was, do, you know, no more split shifts. I was going to take one shift and that was it. Maybe from time to time I'll teach an hour here and there in the morning. But for the most part, I try and make it, I took the lowest hanging fruit which is the afternoon. So I basically start teaching either from 3 to 4 in the afternoon, maybe till 8 at night. Sometimes I'm done at 7 at night. And the way I'm able to make the same amount of money is I do all group lessons. Okay, I just have Friday and Saturday where I will dedicate some hours to private, but mostly everything through the week, Monday through Thursday, it's all group. And so that is where the money is. If you're a health club owner too, you should like that. There's so much more money in group lessons than privates. A lot of times you just take privates because you want to fill up your book and you feel like you're busy, but if you just concentrate those hours and you can run a nice big group class consistently, you know, you go from making, whether you're making anywhere from $40 to $70 an hour to, you know, $90 to $200 an hour. And it is much better for you, it's much better for the club, and it enables you to really give the best to your clients. Uh, you feel fresh, you're energized, and, and you're looking forward to the lessons every day rather than feeling like, I just started to feel like a beat up alley cat every day, just licking my wounds, going out there and teaching. So how do you do this? Besides, the, the main thing to me is you just gotta change that mindset. You gotta learn how to say no for a little while, and, and clear out whatever privates you had in, in the morning or, or if you want to do morning then you know take off in the afternoon I still think for the most part your lowest hanging fruit will be in the afternoon when kids get off school and so on and so forth people getting off work but uh, so how do you do it though as far as from a marketing standpoint you've got to build a big list and that's why I love so much about the lead pages is that when you really start to build up that list, you get more and more names, more and more people opting in your list, then you can start those groups. So it's kind of like you know making a transition in your life, maybe when you were learning how to become a better, uh, a better player, getting in better shape. Maybe in the beginning you went down a little bit because you were trying a new strategy, but in the end, you look, you look six months, a year down the road, you're gonna find that you're, you're busier than you've ever been, you're happier than you've ever been. Uh, so, you want to be again using these lead pages to build a list. You come up. This is this is the my formula for for building a group class uh, as as fast as possible. That is number one. I think of a great offer. Most of the time, that great offer is going to be free. Right now, uh, 
you know, you may or may not be watching this at the same time of year, but right now we're getting ready ahead into summer. So I've offered a free two days of summer camp. We already have about 70 people signed up for this free summer camp. So free gets them in the door, they come on in, and then as they're taking these free lessons, you're giving them discounted, discounted offers. And I like to do it on, on a time basis to where maybe the first day, first two days, if they sign up, they're going to get 20% off. The next two days, they're going to get 15% off. That last day, they're going to get 10% off, and they understand they don't take it that day. It's going to go back to regular pricing. You're going to find you get most of those sign-ups within those three days, and then the people who are just not price motivated and, and didn't have the time, they'll, they'll sign up later. But that is how you do it. I like to start off free or extremely cheap, get them on the list, and then that's how you're going to be able to build your group classes uh, very quickly. So I hope this uh, video uh, made a lot of sense to you. And if you are at all like me, if you've got a lot of aches and pains in your back and your legs and things like that, at least you know now I feel great. You know I felt much worse at 33 than I feel at 40. So if you feel like me, I'm telling you the way to go is group. Pick one part of the day. Be very disciplined at that. Learn how to say no. And you'll find that you're making as much money or more teaching less hours. Okay, this is Pete, and I'm actually going to be back with part two on how to make more, the, really making the more money in less hours. I'm going to be back in the next video. So this is a two-part course. All right, bye.